Hey guys, JB right here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Cross Out. If this day is not a gameplay, well, you're gonna see gameplay in the background, but I wanna talk about the state of the game and, you know, some issues and some positive things as well. Um, I wanted to make this video a long time ago, but then other Cross Out content creators beat me to it. And then I was like, eh, I don't need to do it anymore. But then someone was like, hey, can you still make a video on it? And I'm like, all right. But, you know, uh, then I had my son was sick and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, talking about the game, the issues and what I think of the game right now. Is it dying? Is it dead? Um, yeah, for personally, I don't think it's dead. The reason why is Crossout has a certain loop of um, a players. Okay, let me let me ex explain this. Um, so right now, when the new player comes, they'll... First of all, Crossout is a very beautiful game. It's a really unique game, and there's no other game like it. There are vehicle builder games out there where you can make your build and play with it and stuff, but Crossout is, like, the best, in my opinion. Um, and whenever a new player comes, you know, when I first came to the game, I, I always wanted a game like this. Since I was, like, five years old, I always wanted to make a build and play with it and stuff like that. So I think a lot of people had... A similar dream of a game like this but anyways uh yeah you come to the game the game is awesome you see wheels you see cameras you see guns you see weapons and i remember i was playing and i was using the vector and i was like oh yeah vector okay i'm not doing that well let me check what i can upgrade to next so i went i think i was doing nomads and i saw the specters like oh specter it has double barrels oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, you know grind for this thing next so i grind it to this thing and i got the specter and i'm using triple i was using two vectors and a specter i was like oh yeah it's fun that is fun uh that is what's fun about this game uh the progression in the beginning is fun um later not that much and plus i was doing the old system the old um, the old system, I enjoyed it a little bit more. You got more rewards. You got the, the miner's container really easy just by logging in or something. I can't really remember. And the season or the challenges were completely different. You had easy, medium, and hard. And I just enjoyed them more. They were a lot easier. No, you could not save your badges for next week or next month or next year. But the system worked for me. And the game was much more rewarding. Uh, back in the day now um, but yeah a player you know he gets his purple weapon but then he wants to upgrade to a legendary weapon and you know they grind and grind and they see oh man you know it's it's taking forever uh, let me see which pack, which pack I can buy and they buy like a pack that's on sale or you know some pack that looks cool and they invest in a game and most people once you invest in a game um, you don't want to really quit the game because you know you have that mindset oh i already invested in the game i'm not gonna quit the game right now i'm gonna keep playing and basically that's how i got dragged in i bought something and i wanted to keep playing and want to get more and i bought something else and you know the whole loop and then you know but i later on did youtube and stuff like that so that's their loop um people come to the game they enjoy it they buy stuff later they get bored like me but like i already have all the packs i've already bought them twice if i get bored now and i quit that's a win for them and that's how they that's how their system works and it works it, i'm not really mad about this system i mean it's a pretty amazing game and i want to support them all the way and that's why i buy the packs and stuff um but next to that issue well that's not really an issue that's an issue for some people but the grind for me is the biggest issue in the game um it takes forever to get stuff like if you don't if you're not a paid to whatever progress player it takes forever to get stuff and now they nerf the raids or not now a few months ago uh they removed the old raids which were fun easy and fast and now you have these 15 minute long things that waste your time so you know <sighs> I, I don't really remember anyone who plays raids anymore. I'm pretty sure there are a few people, but I haven't done raids in months, at least six or seven months. After they did, after they removed Chase, I never did raids. I, I stopped, wait, 
sorry about this, but I never did raids anymore. I didn't do raids anymore. I only did chase, but then they removed chase because I was doing chase to get um, plastics and stuff like that. And then they removed chase because, I don't know, it was too easy or something. You could do chase in like two minutes and then you were done. That was a nice. And back in the day, you had cargo race and siege. Those were fun. But, you know, they have those weird ones now. So that's also an issue about the game. The raids, the brawls, PvP. Right now, the only thing there is for me to do is PvP and Clan Wars. If I didn't do Clan Wars, I wouldn't play this game, like, almost at all. Unless it was for a video or something. So um, these days, I just log in. I play, like, one, two matches of PvP and I'm bored. I do play Clan Wars a lot. I am in Coldfire's Clan right now. I'm not sure if you guys are uh, familiar with him. He's another YouTuber. He's pretty amazing content um i'm in his clan and you know that's the only really exciting part for me in the game right now because i'm like in the end game or whatever you want to call it i already experienced or tested or used all the weapons on my personal account and now i just have the ones that i like and i don't even have the all the ones that i like um but yeah, let me continue about the clan wars thing clan wars is right now the most fun thing for me it's not balanced the the maps are buggy and it gives other people or other builds advantages over others like hovers um and spider builds can climb on rocks and stuff like that and i like i enjoy clan wars i there was um there was a, a rank mode back in the day it was not clan wars but it was like 4v4 and it was good you could train against each other i don't know why they removed that that was a you know a good game mode I'm, I'm not sure why they removed that. So I don't know what their decision is on doing these things. But first, we need more game modes. They're working on the maps. Uh, I've noticed, so that's good. We don't, we don't need any more packs. But they need to get paid, so they're probably not gonna stop with that. But um, for example, let's talk about the, the game modes. We can get a capture the flag. We can get um, a control your own Leviathan mode, where you can. Um, I don't know, assign weapons to be automatically fired and you can manually fire some of them, you know, uh, your Leviathan against four other players or something like that. That maybe, even if it's not perfect in the beginning, it will be a fun game mode. And don't, like, they, they, they shouldn't put it as like a brawl where it's only two hours a day. I mean, I know why they do it because their game's not really popular. So they want to uh, force everybody to play that specific time. So, it, you know, the queue times are lower. Um, but yeah, other game modes would be fun to do, you know, that the Leviathan one, they, they tried Leviathan in Clan Wars, but it didn't work because, you know, people would bring like a 50 lands build or something, just kill everybody in one hit. But, uh, yeah, we need more game modes. Uh, the grind needs to be less. Uh, let me see if you can see the rewards. I can't really see the rewards. Um... Yeah, I, I can't really see the rewards, how much you get for battle, but it's not enough. Uh, we need to get a lot more resources for a match, uh, for a brawl. Like right now, the Steel Championship gives you like eight resources or something. Uh, Steel Championship, yeah, six. I did lose, but you know, I only got six. That's like, what? Is, what is that? That's not enough. Oh, look at this. Yeah, uh, I won. I got twelve fires. Like, dude, that's not enough. I need. Give me more stuff and the uh, the weekly cap mm, uh back in the day when i used to play a lot like a lot of hours like 14 hours a day the weekly cap was an issue for me i would get capped out like in the the fourth day of the week on both resources and i was like oh man i can't play anymore now i have to play something else <laughs> right now it's not an issue for me because i don't play the game as much but the weekly cap i can understand that it's an issue for some people that you know really enjoy the game and want stuff faster um other than that issues with the game they still have a long way to go um right now or uh, when i was talking about the clan wars something that i don't like is that the game is still in beta and which gives them the power to change stuff and you can't really do anything about them uh, for example back in the I like to see back in the day, but a few months ago, I sold almost everything in my inventory. I didn't have the Reapers, I didn't have the Spark, I didn't, I didn't have... I only I only kept the Aspects, 
and the two harvesters. That's the only things I kept. And I stole, and my cab, and some cabins. I had like the quantum, the spider cabin, the humpback, and the these two because, you know, these were fused. So that's the only thing I had left. And I sold everything to get two scorpions. The scorpions were bad back in the day, but I didn't um, check the, the forms, I guess, or the, the patch notes that they were going to change the whole clan war system that you're gonna get uranium more, more easy also that that's also a good change i like the fact that you can get uranium per win and stuff you know easier access to uranium for everybody um i know it's a bit uh not on the current story i'm telling but remember a few updates back they were talking about rates where you would be able to get fragments of relic weapons and stuff like that but I guess though that is scrap. But anyways, yeah, um, yeah. I sold my stuff to get two scorpions. I had the scorpions. The scorpions were pretty bad. Couldn't use them in clan wars. They were pretty sucky. And I was like, man, that sucks. And then the price dropped by the ten or twenty thousand coins. And I was like, oh man, I lost so much coins. I could have had like two scorpions and two porcupines or something. So I was kind of pissed that I lost so much coins and. I hate that they change stuff like that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I buy, I sell my scorpions and buy typhoons now. Guess what? They're gonna nerf the typhoons. Boom! Typhoons nerf. Th price dropped again. I was like, oh man. And I wanted to sell them, but it was too late. Once they announced something, the price just tanks in the market. And I was like, oh man, I'm stuck with the typhoons, and I'm still stuck with them. They're okay weapons, but. Like right now, I want my scorpions back because scorpions are better now. And but I can't if I sell them now, dude. That's not even one. Okay, I can get one scorpion, but then just one scorpion. <sighs> but you get what I mean, right? The the whole market, the whole thing that you, they take ten percent of the price. That's a lot. Like if I sell this for like thirty thirty thousand coins, they keep like six thousand coins. That's way too much. Yeah, and uh, speaking about that, the whole rent workbench thing is also not needed. We don't need that, Gaijin. But yeah, I want other relics now, but I can't because they um, they nerf stuff and buff stuff randomly. And I don't know why they do this, but I mean, I guess no, I know why, but it sucks that you invest. Let's say you're... A rich guy right you pay eight hundred dollars to get like two relics and then they just change it and your eight hundred dollars becomes like three hundred dollars you know that's that's not fair but yeah um the market is okay i don't like the fact that stuff is untradeable like those special items you get for steel championship and stuff like that or fused cabins I think few scabs should have a price on them, so you can sell them or buy them immediately. I think that should be a thing, right? Let me know what you think about that, because you know, if I if I I don't want to risk wasting like I know people that have spent like thirty thousand or more, no, nine thousand coins to just fuse the spider cabin, and now the spider cabin is cheap. <laughs> but yeah, that that is just you know. Just make stuff uh, a price. I want to sell my cabins if I don't want them anymore. But yeah, uh, those were the things I kind of have issues with with the game. The sound is not that great because they just recently changed the Reaper sound and make it like really ugly. Uh, don't agree, agree with that. I remember the Bully Cabin has a weird uh, engine sound. I don't know why. The, the V8. The cheetah engine this is a supercharged engine i want to hear a supercharger you know but you don't this is a heavy like truck cow on our tractor I, I don't hear that you know but i don't blame them this sound is the least of my worries for this game but yeah in short is the game dying no there's still new people coming each year unfortunately the grind is still too how to put it it's still too grindy and I do like that they fixed the whole region issue. So I get a US servers a lot more now. So that is good. So they, they are working on the game. But some decisions I just don't agree with. Um, uh, I don't 
know if you guys play War Thunder, but War Thunder has a market separate from the game. I'll uh, I'll check if I can. Let me just show you guys. All right, so this is War Thunder's market. Um, I, I'm I don't think Crossout's ever gonna get a market like this, but I do like it. Like War Thunder has events. I asked the devs if they could do events like this where you could get vehicles or packs for free, you know, but they said no, like I mentioned, they because they already have a, a rebuild competition or something where you get 200 coins. 200 coins worthless in Crossout. But yeah, how, the way the, the War Thunder market works is um, whenever there's events, like the upcoming event is, is going to be the summer event, and you play, you do objectives, and then you can unlock a total of four vehicles. And once you got the vehicles, you could either choose to redeem the coupon that you get for the vehicles and play them in game, or you could sell them. Check this out. Uh, the Merkava Mark One for US was, is now 74 Gaijin coin. Gaijin coin is uh, a currency you use on the Gaijin website for all their games. So War Thunder, Crossout, uh, Cuisine Royale, you know, stuff like that. And for me, since I play both games, War Thunder and Crossout, I play War Thunder to get the vehicles and I sell them for Gaijin coins and then I either buy packs for War Thunder or cross out. So that's a, a nice little thing. Just wanted to share with you guys. Also, um, War Thunder has a um, daily challenges. They, you do two daily challenges and you get 150 War Bonds. You save those up and by the end of the month you can buy a box. In, in game you buy the box in game and you can choose to sell the box um in on the gaijin market the prices vary a little bit sometimes they're like 18 coins sometimes 10 sometimes 15 you gotta watch the market for that but as you guys can see i still have a little bit of um, gaijin currency i remember man i sold my boat the um the last event, the HMS Tiger boat for like 120 coins, which is $120. One Gaijin coin is the equivalent of $1. So that was nice. I got myself a, a few neat things in the games. But yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys. If you guys want to know more, whoa, look at this thing. Look, look, look at some of these prices, guys. The E100 is $1,500. The Type 62 is $1,000, dude. These guys are nuts. And you 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 might think these guys are nuts. Oh, yeah, look at the trophy, the, the box I was talking about. Right now, it's 8 coins. So I usually wait until it's a little bit higher so I can sell it and uh, make some money. Look at the HMS Tiger is now $109. And these things sell. I remember, let me check the history on the Type 62. Okay, so I don't think anyone has bought this, but some people buy stuff for like $800, you know, some rich kids. But anyways, I think this video has been long enough and I'm talking about War Thunder now. Back Ross out. Um, yeah, the game is not dying. I, I, the game is a little bit boring for me. I do enjoy Clan Wars, but they need to fix some stuff. Uh, currently, I, I kind of like where the game is going, but... Uh, I don't know, it's just a little bit too boring. More game modes. We need more game modes. More exciting, crazy, wacky stuff. And no more, oh, this is a wasteland. Ooh, we got to do immersive stuff. Or, um, I asked for AI aliens or um, mutants that we can shoot. They said, no, I, I kind of understand because then the rating of the game has changed. Because once you start adding stuff that you shoot, like humans or stuff, it, I don't know. It, it has something to do with the rating, I think. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace out.